Hello everyone and thank you so much for uh, being here with me uh, to watch this video. Today I'm going to talk about uh, conditional formatting rules, uh, not particularly about how to uh, set up those rules, but how to fix a problem that sometimes happens when we have the ru those rules in place and uh, they get broken. So I have here an example. Um, and in this case, I have this table here and uh, these colors that appear here and uh, the traffic lights, they are all automatically uh, created using um, conditional formatting. And th there's an explanation here. So for, for example, column B uh, will um, be green every time a product is set up as available. So, for example, if here I turn this uh, to sold, then uh, I won't I, I won't see the green here anymore. This is uh, used to let me to show me um, to give me an idea of which products are available at a certain moment. Uh, another rule uh, is applied to column D and E and says every time uh, a product is marked as sold in column status but there's there is no price there uh, then the yellow shows up saying well if it is sold you need to put in the price it was sold so for example if i come here and i put uh five thousand dollars then the yellow disappears because uh, everything is good now uh, for that product um, and finally the third column uh, gives me a different uh, color depending on the percentage of the profit margin. And uh, we can uh, see how the rule is set up in, uh, in here by coming to conditional formatting and then manage rules. We have all the rules here applied to this table. And in here, if we click uh, uh, in the field for the range where it says applies to, we can uh, see that this rule is applied to that column this rule is applied to these two columns and this rule is applied to this entire column. And also if I double click here, I can see that the green will show up every time the value in a, in the, in a cell is equal or greater than uh, 50%. Uh, it will be yellow between 15 and 50% and uh, it will show red uh, when the value is below 15%. Okay, so what's the challenge? Uh, sometimes when we have these uh, available for different people to use, it is very easy uh, for them, uh, for any of us, in fact, even myself, uh, I sometimes forget that in order to uh, maintain these rules operational and functioning, I cannot come to the cells where they are applied and do paste. I need to, if I'm pasting something in there, I need to do paste as values. So let's say that the user has some information somewhere else. It could be even in a, any, on a, an email or on a PDF document. A report comes in and information coming there needs to be put in uh, this table. For example, this product here. If the person comes and does control C to copy and then here control V to paste, we can see that it brought in all the formatting in that cell, including Bing and the font being bold. The table auto expanded. Uh, if I come here and say that the product is available, the rule is still working. It might work, it might not work. It depends. It depends on how much disruption there is on a table and how Excel interprets uh, all the uh, information available. So let's say, for example, that someone copies this from here, control C, and then comes here, puts control V. So now you see all the, the formatting we had here is not working anymore. We have sold, um, is not centered as in the other cells. My drop down menu disappeared and uh, the, tape, the cell should show yellow because uh, there is no price here and is not showing yellow. If I come to conditional formatting, manage rules and click in this rule here, I can see that the field now is all broken. Uh, 
it's not as clean as it was before and uh, so it's not being applied to that certain cell there okay another thing so for example if i come now here and do control c and then control v here uh, now you see this the green is not working anymore so what do we need to to avoid these first i'm going to undo everything so one of the things we need to do is to be careful and every time we do paste we go Control c to copy and then coming here we should do paste as values if i do that for example if i put the salt here pasting as values i won't disrupt anything about the formatting on those uh, in those cells but it's very easy for someone to forget to that uh, he or she needs to paste as values and when the rules start uh, getting disrupted then at that point we cannot trust the rules anymore if we put those rules here to give us some kind of alert some kind of uh, help uh, to notice something that needs to be that needs our attention that needs to be changed amended any anything if the rules are not working, then uh, we might as well not putting them there because we cannot trust them. And I have this situation on a company I was uh, implementing a system and we got to a point where we had this problem and we were thinking, how can we solve this? The idea to solve this came from uh, Mackenzie Cook. He, he was my coworker, a brilliant guy. He's not um, an Excel specialist, but when this problem arrived, he very quickly thought, well, why can't we just use uh, that um, paintbrush we have there that copies the formatting? We could set up the formatting aside on a place where nobody touches and then make an automation to go there, copy that um, formatting and bring the, the formatting here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here and works perfectly, beautifully. and. Uh, with something extra that I will show you at the end, we can be sure that we are looking at um, uh, the correct information. All the rules will be always in place because um, even if someone disrupts them, at some point the system will fix the rules. Okay, so how are we going to do this? So I'm going to change the name of this sheet here to data. Please note that this table here as a name if we come here to design when clicking on the table we can see that the table is called table data okay uh, now i'm going to create a copy of this sheet and i'm going to call this sheet conditional formatting conditional format that's fine and in this table i'm going to delete all the cells all the rows except one so this is the row where we need to have the all the rules set up and is a good thing a thing good thing because in the future if we need to add another rule and uh, on a side note please be aware that creating too many rules conditional formatting rules on a document in a document can make that document quite heavy uh, so you should use that with some moderation but uh, those rules are in fact very useful so it depends on where you want to go uh, if we come here we can see that the table received automatically this name i am going to call it table conditional form con format it's okay let's just check that um, all the rules are in place in here this one into these two columns column b everything is fine and so this sheet here now will be hidden in the future nobody needs to see this except the person that uh, comes to change any of those rules or implement another one so how is this going to happen we we could try record the macro the process would be selecting this sheet, uh, selecting this area, the data area in this table, uh, come here, uh, click here, uh, and then come back to the original, the data table, select the entire table, and 
paste the formatting that we just copied. I already did something similar and I then tweaked, tweaked the code. I'm going to bring the code here and I will explain it to you so that it's quicker. We would go to the developer tab. You can search online if you don't have that, how to do this. Visual Base Basic uh, and then insert module. I'm copying and pasting the code here. A macro called um, fixcon format. And what are we doing here? I'm going to squeeze this a little bit. So with this workbook and with the sheet conditional format, go there, select the sheet, select the table, the range table count format. It's how you define uh, this table. It's the table table count format. If you don't know that, one easy way could be um, trying to create a name. So if you come to formulas, name manager, and then new and you want to say that this is uh, refers to this data you can see here how the the range is um, referred to by excel and you just need to copy that as the name of the range okay so close these we don't need that um, going back to our um, VBA editor. So we select that range and then that selection is copied. Then we go to the data sheet, we select that sheet and uh, we select the entire range in the table there called table data and with that selection we do a paste special where we are pasting the formats. Then you go application cut copy mode false to eliminate eliminate uh, any thing in the clipboard and um, one of the things that I decided to do is in the table data for the data you can do the following cells in column 2 so column B go to the end go up it will bring us to here to the last cell available then we offset one row zero columns means that we go one row down and the macro will finish by um, selecting the next cell available just for the user convenience uh, it's something that we can do or not depending on what you want okay so let's test this let's imagine that um, I come here I do control C then I come here to control V now that thing is not working anymore what happens if I run the macro F5 you see it fixed all the conditional formatting everything is in place now it finished with that cell selected there so uh, now we could uh, place a button to fix the conditional formatting whenever we want uh, so for example let's close these here we don't need that um, let's say we could come here insert a button and associate this macro with the button and uh, give a name to the button could be fix conditional format so now again we can test this if I come here and I accidentally paste something there and disrupt the conditional formatting when we run the macro it fixes that uh, but what if the user just doesn't realize he messed up the the rules and he forgets to run the macro what we can do about that is coming here to the developer tab again and in here where it says this workbook what we can do is we can instruct Excel to every time the user saves the file then make sure that the conditional formatting is uh, fixed 
so that the next time someone comes and uses the file, the conditional formatting is available. So uh, for that, we can go here. It's not something we want to, uh, we could, it could be, but in this case, I'm going to suggest that we uh, use the event before save. It's here. Uh, so we don't need that. And what we need to do is every time you are about to save before that, please run the macro fix conditional formatting. And we can now save this. Oh, of course, it's going to say uh, I need to save this as this workbook as a, a macro enabled workbook. OK, I already had one there with that same name. This notice that shows up is because of a setting here about the trust center. In fact, we are going to do that because if not, it's it will be bothering us. So we come here to options and uh, trust center, trust center settings and privacy options. And here we need to uncheck this option, remove personal information from file properties on save. We don't want, we don't need that to happen in this case. Uh, and we are okay now. Okay, uh, so let's test this. Uh, I'm using the file and I'm bringing information here and uh, I do something that just messes up everything, all the rules here. And I'm about to save. I didn't even realize that I damaged the rules. I just go save and I'm about to close. But every time I click save, did you see everything uh, was fixed. And that's it. I think this is a very interesting way of um, solving this problem. If you know about any other way of making sure that the conditional formatting rules are always in place, please let me know in the comments. If you liked the, this tip and the, this information, please make sure to subscribe the channel. Please make sure to uh, click a second time to receive notifications every time a new video comes up is published and uh, if you like the tip uh, it would be very nice i would really like that if you have the time and the patience uh, and the kindness to go to mackenzie cook's uh, youtube channel is not it is not about uh, excel it's about uh, his music and his bass guitar uh, you can go there and just click like on any of his uh, youtube videos and say in the comments Thank you for the Excel tip. I believe he would be very confused at first and it would be very funny to, <laughs> to see his surprise. Thank you so much for your time. I hope to see you soon. Please leave me any questions in the comments. And if you are a Portuguese speaker, I'm going to leave you a note in Portuguese. Uh, se fala português e precisa de alguma, algum esclarecimento, Uh, fique à vontade para colocar comentários e eu responderei em português porque essa é a minha língua, uh, é a minha língua mãe. Obrigada pela vossa atenção. Thank you. See you soon.